after the Haiti earthquake in 2010, Suji volunteers have continued their love and care for the local residents. Suji has not only established a farm to plant moringa, but also has been helping rebuild schools. In Haiti on October 26, Suji volunteers held a groundbreaking ceremony at the opening of the Centre Preschool Kama Rini de Rocher, a kindergarten that was severely damaged after the earthquake. Since Haiti was also affected by Hurricane Sandy, the groundbreaking ceremony was conducted indoors. Being in the path of Hurricane Sandy, Haiti has experienced massive rainfall. However, despite the weather, the groundbreaking ceremony of the center preschool lair Carmen René de Rocher was not canceled. To make sure the groundbreaking ceremony runs smoothly, the volunteers started decorating the venue early in the morning and even arrived at the Moringa Great Love Farm to pick up seedlings as gifts for guests. In spite of the rain, the groundbreaking ceremony at the Centre Preschooler Carmen René de Rocher is joined by students, teachers, parents and the Taiwanese ambassador in Haiti. As Taiwanese ambassador in Haiti, I'm very proud of Tsuji as the volunteers have continued to care for the locals. But I think for us, really lucky too. The ceremony is conducted in both English and French, so everyone can understand the volunteers. The volunteers also promise to care for the Haitians in the years to come. As almost always said, great love has no boundary of race, religion, or nationality. We are committed to doing whatever we can to provide quality education to the children of Haiti. Thank God for having Tsuji here to rebuild our school. We no longer will need to use plastic sheets on top of a roof. Next year, we can study in new classrooms. Thank you, Tsuji. Thank you, God. After the Haiti earthquake in 2010, Tsuji has helped rebuild four schools, including the Centre Preschooler Carmen René de Rocher. The rebuilding of this school will improve educational opportunities and educate children on how to contribute to society. The children sing a song to express their gratitude towards the volunteers as they hope to become useful people when they grow up. Despite the hurricane, U.S. city volunteers arrived in Haiti on schedule and quickly held a meeting with local volunteers. The volunteers also arrived at the rebuilding site of the school to conduct an assessment. Centre Preschooler Carmen de Rocher was established in 1984 by a local Girl Scout and was severely damaged during the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Since then, the children have been studying at a local church where they sold help from Tsuji. As the kindergarten is located at the poverty striking region of the Haitian capital, the residents there are mostly living below the poverty line. Therefore, many children cannot attend school. Thankfully, Tsuji decided to rebuild the school. This kindergarten children can study and it can benefit this community. The classrooms are going to be, there's going to be classrooms in this area and this area. This right here, the, the that's the main entrance. Main entrance. Main entrance. Okay. The school with nine classrooms will take nine months to build. When finished, the school will not only be used as a kindergarten where children living in poverty can enjoy school, but also a community center where local women can learn valuable skills. 